Hi everyone, this is a quick casual video showing you how I would grade a pattern. So I'm going to be grading this skirt block, which is a bit smaller than normal, just so it fits underneath the camera lens. I'm going to be grading in inches using this grading ruler, which is actually a quilting ruler in inches. My favourite pen to grade in is a mechanical pencil. I like 0.5 HBs. I find if you grade with this kind of pencil that you have to sharpen, the thickness of the, the line changes as you use it and every time you sharpen it, but you've got consistent line thickness with this kind of pen. So, oh, so the first thing I do is I plan my grade. And I like to use the back of the style sheet for this because then if I need to grade more sizes, I just have to look on the back of the style sheet to see how I did it. I don't have to stack all the pieces up uh, to work out what I actually did. So usually I just draw a I draw a little picture of what the pattern pieces are and if there's any notches on it then I put those on too. Maybe I've got a notch here. Uh, and then and maybe I've got a waistband with this. Uh, so I'm going to be grading half an inch here and I'm going to put half of that each side of the dart and then I'm going to be grading my waistband two inches. If I had the kind of waistband that had notches in it for the sides and the centre and the sides I'd put half an inch in each of those. Uh, so I, re I like to refer to this while I'm grading just to keep me on track. First I draw the line from which I'm going to be grading from and I always do this in biro so that uh, I don't get confused which pencil line I should be following. So I'm not going to be using pencil to grade this because you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to use texture. So I, but you can see my line here, my biro line. Put my pattern on the line, and I pop a mark at the top and at the bottom, and take the pattern away, and then I use my ruler to square out from that line. Okay. Now I get my grading ruler and my my plan. And I'm going to be grading out quarter and then a quarter and I'm not grading up or down I'm only going to be grading out I'm only going to be grading one size so I draw a quarter out and another quarter out and then at the other end I do the same thing this is like a little grid I've made so if I was grading length I would be be putting the length on here so then the pattern goes back on so I, I, I like to sort of start here and then pop all my points in and go around in a circle. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is come out my quarter inch. So I'm coming out here and I'm going to put that dart in. Whoops. There's the dart point. Now I'm going to mark this point which is here. I'm coming out my full half inch, pop that corner in, and then because I'm not grading any length, I can actually draw all the way down and across. And that's what it looks like. And then I go back and fill in all these lines that have spaces in between. And there's my pattern. And then I Stick the original back on and check that I've come out. You can check with your grading ruler too, except texture's not very texture isn't very um, accurate, but uh, you can use your grading ruler to check that you've come out the right amount. And I do that with every piece. I check every piece after I've graded it. Oh, I forgot to say the reason I like to use this kind of pencil is 
because the line thickness is consistent, it can be accurate. But when I um, when I mark notches in, I mark around the hole. I don't do it as a line. I, I like trace around the hole, and then you know exactly where you are with notches. There you have it. Thanks. Bye.